Sometimes when you copy and paste information into a Google spreadsheet, it's just not in the format that you need. You might have, like I do, both the first and last name in one column and both the city and state in one column. And there's a really quick and easy way to separate those out. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. First of all, when I separate um, the first and last name here in this column, it's actually going to put the last name in column B, so I don't want to lose my city and state. So I'm going to go ahead and click here, and then I'm going to insert a column to the right so that I have a place for the last names to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the column, and then I'm going to go to the data form, and I'm going to select split text to columns. Now there's this default that it will try to detect automatically what the separator is. You know, is it a comma, a period, a semicolon, what is it? Well, even though mine is a space, it didn't detect it, but I can go ahead and tell it use space. And now the names just that fast are separated into first and last name, and I can go ahead and rename the headers so that I now have uh, that information up there. And I can do it the same way with city and state. I'm going to put one more column here. I can right click and insert as well. And I'm going to um, select the column that has the data. And this time these are separated with a comma. So let's see what happens. Again, click on data, select split text to column. And there they are. I did, it detected it automatically. It could understand the comma, I guess, better than the space. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean up my headers and tighten up my column. And I can move on to showing you the second way that you can split data. So here I can come along and I can start to make my columns first name, last name, and you'll notice that the last name is first and I want it to be first name first. So all I have to do is I can start typing in the names and as soon as I get to the second one that artificial intelligence, that smart fill, understands what I'm trying to do and it says we think we can finish it for you and all I have to do is click on the check mark and it will finish making that column for me. And now I can do the same thing for last name, just start typing them in. And as soon as I start to type Alfred's last name, that pops up again, and I can quickly and easily finish the separation of those names. So there's a variety of ways. These are just two of them, but I hope you'll find them useful when you're trying to clean up some data on your Google Sheets.